this is the previous question in from 2008 subject is toc and topic is finite automata they have given two automatas y and z and asking for what is the cross product of z cross y z cross y z is here a it has two inputs a and b and two states one and two and y is also same input input must be same here one and two are the states here so i am writing here z is a b and this is this is z okay and one is the initial state and two is the final state this is two this is two this is one i wrote z okay because they have asked for z cross y i am writing z then i write the y y is here a b a b input symbols are a b and this is one this is two one is initial here also two is the final then one two one two this is two one so this is y so i wrote z first then y because they have asked for z cross y z cross y now here the input symbols must be same here a b and here also a b therefore here this will be a b now what is the z cross y whatever the states here this into this states so here i am taking this is 1 1 1 1 one will be one state and similarly 1 2 1 2 1 okay then 1 1 and 1 2 okay similarly 2 1 2 1 and 2 2 i repeat so here the states z cross y 1 for by 1 1 1 1 2 then 2 1 then 2 2 so what are the initial states in initial state in z 1 and what is the initial state in in y 1 so what is the combination of these two initial state 1 1 so 1 1 will be the initial state in z cross y okay now what is the final state here 2 what is the final state here 2 then the final state will be both together so 2 2 will be the final state this is okay now here how to write this so this is this is z first one is z and second one is y first state is from z and second state is from y so here one on a in z one on a one on a it is going to two are you following here z cross y z is this is first element is uh, first number is belongs to the z and second number is belongs to y so one on a one on a is two and here this is belongs to y one on a is one so this will be the so one one on a the state will be two one okay similarly one on b in z one on b it is two and here in y one on b it is two so two one two two okay here two one and two two take this z this is belongs z one on a one on a two and this is y two on a it is two next one on b this is one from z input symbol is b one on b it is two next this is from y and input symbol is b so two on b two on b it is one next next here this is from z on a two on a it is one this is from y one on input symbol a one on a is one this is z this is state from z z on b that is two on b two on b is one this is from y one on b one on b it is two next this is two from z two on a one two on a in y two so this is one two on a one two on a is two so one two next from z two on b two on b it is one two on b it is one then 2 on y here here in y 2 on b 1 so this is the this is the output but if you observe here they have not given the names as 1 2 2 1 they have changed the names so p q r s so just observe this where here in all these in all these options p is the initial state therefore we can take p as 1 1 
if you observe p here p here p in all these p is the initial state and here initial state is 1 1 so p is 1 1 in all these r is final r is final r is final r is final so r will be what is the final here we we, we have what is the final state we have we have 2 2 so r will be 2 2 2 2 so we have 1 1 1 2 2 1 2 2 this is this is p this is p and this is r so the remaining options q uh, p and p is done r, r is done q s so this can be q this can be s yes. r r this can be s yes, this can be q so we will take this uh, we will convert this into uh, two uh, the corresponding names whatever is matching we will go for that okay now i am taking this one a b a b so i am taking p p is 1 1 initial state 1 1 is p initial i am taking 1 2 as q 1 2 as q here i am taking 1 2 q as 1 2 q as 1 2 and and s as 2 1 if not proper matching is not there then i will interchange i will take q as 2 1 s as 1 2 okay so p is 1 1 q is 1 2 s is 2 1 and r is 2 2 so wherever 1 1 i will take it as p, p. 1 2 1 2 is q and s is 2 1 2 1 is s and 2 2 is r 2 2 is r 2 2 is r and r is the final state now 2 1 what is 2 1 yes yes what is 2 2 r and 2 2 2 2 is r 2 1 is 2 1 is s next okay next here 2 1 i have taken q as 1 2 and uh, 2 1 as s in 2 1 on it is 1 1 1 1 is what p p 1 2 is what 1 2 we have taken as q next in r 1 2 what is 1 2 q and 1 1 it is p just check whether there is corresponding option is there or not if it is there we will check it we will take it otherwise we will interchange this this we will take it as s this we will take it as q now look at this one p is sr p is sr here p is sr here matched p sr is matched here q rs is matched here r r final state qp matched here and s s is pq so all are matched here p Outputs are SR, Q outputs are RS, S output is PQ and R output is QP. Option A is right answer. This is the Z cross Y. See the previous gate question from 2003. It is TOC. Topic is finite automata. Here the question is, they have given NFA. This initial state, why it is NFA? Because it has different for one year and also for one year one on one it is going to final state and on one it is going to non final state so it is a nfa now see the question let the language accepted by m so the this is m m is the finite lambda it is accepting l it is accepting l okay let l1 be the n language accepted by <coughs> nfa m1 l1 is a different language the l1 is a different language and it is accepted by m1 m1 and obtained by changing the accepting state of m to non accepting state and by changing the non accepting state into accepting state means it, this is the given machine nfa the name of this nfa is m he is what he is doing he is interchanging final and non final states he is interchanging final and non final state then we will get the new automata that new automata is saying it is new automata is new automata will be m1 new automata will be m1 Okay, now then, then which of the following statement is true? So if you interchange this, if you interchange this, what is the language acts by new automata? So guys, here actually whenever we interchange the final and non-final state, the language must be the complement. The language must be the complement. Okay, language equal to sigma star minus L. This is true this is true in the case of dfa only this is true in the case of dfa only 
if we interchange initial the final or non final final all final making as non final all non final is making as final that will be language will be complement if it is given as a d if the dfa is given but here nfa is given when nfa is given when you interchange final non final the language may not be exact l complement exact the exact complement of the language so here you have to in, uh, interchange and you have to find what is the language so here i am doing i am interchanging this so here i am constructing this is this will become this will become non final these two will become final these will two will become final this will be final this will be final this is the initial state so this transaction will be as it is this is 0 and this is 1 and this is 0 comma 1 0 comma 1 and this is 0 and this is also 0 comma 1 so as it is so only i have interchange i have changed this as non final i have changed this as non final and also this these two are non final will become final now will this machine accept epsilon yes because initial is final it accept epsilon will it accept only zero only zero on zero it can stop here again as long as zero it can stop here and once only once uh, it accepts then any number of ones or it will it accept any combination of zeros and ones then any number of zeros and ones the machine may go to this or the machine may go to this one but here it can stop it in this final state also so here it accepts only zeros only ones and every combination of zeros and ones the machine can stop here or the machine can stop here because again it can go back okay so it accepts all the strings of zeros and ones all the string only epsilon only zeros only ones and any combination of zeros and ones therefore the language will be 0 plus 1 all star the l complement l complement will be 0 plus 1 all star but it is not it is not sigma star minus l this is wrong answer that is the right answer in the case of dfa whenever nfa is given you just complement the states uh, in, in, uh, means final in, do as a non-final and non-final you do as a final convert the final into non-final that is you interchange the final non-final then whatever the diagram you get from that diagram you have to identify what is the language accepted but don't go for sigma star minus l sigma star minus l is valid in the case of dfa only so here as per this one the language acts by this uh, uh, new nf is zero comma one whole star that is option b this is the previous gate question 1998 1998 toc uh, from finite automated topic which of the following set can be recognized by a dfa deterministic finite automata look at this one the first question first option the numbers 1 2 4 8 so on 2 power n this is 1 is 2 power 0, 2 power 0, 2 power 1, 4 is 2 square, then 8 is 2, 8 is 2 cube, so on, 2 power n, written in binary, in binary. So in binary, all these numbers, 2 power 0, that is 1, the binary repetition is 1, and this is 1 0, this is 1 double 0, this is one triple zero so all these languages uh, all these strings all these strings 2 power 1 2 power 2 2 power 3 2 power 4 2 power 4 16 then 1 4 zeros so all these strings are starting with one and followed by any number of zeros single zero no zeros are single zero double zero triple zero so this is the regular expression for this is one zero star one zero star so what is the dfa for this one starting with one starting with one starting with one then any number of zeros this is a finite automata so here they have asked for dfa na? so we will go for if it is ending with after zero if one comes trap state here initially 0 comes trap state and for trap state is also 0 comma 1. So this is the DFA 
for the first option. So this is accepted by which of the following is accepted? A is it is accepted by the DFA. A is answer. Now come to the numbers 1, 2, 4. Same numbers. Here also same, here also, but here representative binary, here representative unary. That is the second option. 1, 1, 2, 4, so on 2 power and unary. Means this is single one. I am taking it as sig sigma equal to 1. Sigma equal to 1. And this is 2 ones. Here 4 ones. Then after that, 8 ones. So how do you check? How do you count that one should be on power of zeros? So we cannot construct here two power ones must be on single one here two one then four one then eight one then sixteen ones. It is not possible to construct a PD a finite automata for this. Therefore, this is not a regular. It, we cannot accept a DFA uh, or finite automata. Next, come to the second one. Come to the next one. Third one. The set of binary strings in which the number of zeros is the same set of number of zero ones. Number of zeros equal to number of ones. There is an infinite comparison between the zeros and ones. So we cannot construct a finite automata for this language also. For this, the num unary sigma equal to one. The number of ones must be multiple of two, two the power of two, which is not possible which is not possible here number of zeros and ones must be equal there is a comparison comparison is infinite not possible so we cannot consider a finite amount for this and also for this and the set here one see if you observe this then there is a single zero before zero and after zero number of ones are equal here number of ones are two after zero number of ones are two here number of ones are three after zero number of ones are three so this is like one power n one power n zero 1 power n. So, the number of zeros, number of ones before 0 and number of ones after 0 must be equal. Again, comparison. This is not possible by finite automata. So, what is this question? Which of the following is can, can be rec recognized by the DFA? Only option is A. Okay. Thank you.